everybody. Last Outrider here. How you doing? Bringing you a special data slate, Dark Angels, with some Dark Angels goodness coming your way, because I know there might be a few, one or two Dark Angel players out there. This bud's for you. We're going to be talking about, well, first the fluff. The air hums with power as the Dark Angels Librarius Conclave bears down upon the foe. In their midst strides Ezekiel, Grand Master of Librarians, his psychic might stretching out to join with the minds of his brothers. Concentrating their power into a single, razor-sharp psychic blade, the librarians drive their manifest will far across the battlefield to impale the psyches of their foes. Enemy warriors stumble to their knees with their hands clamped to their heads, screaming and thrashing in agony as they weep bloody tears. Driving their mind worms deeper, the librarious conclave mine every last thought and secret from their victims' consciousnesses before snuffing out their lives with a final vicious surge of power. All the while, the Conclave's battle brothers maintain their grim scowls, barely a tick or twitch marring their statuesque composure as they aid one another in butchering the minds of their foes. <laughs> that needs an evil laugh at the end of it. So, what is this thing you're going to be asking? This is a formation. A formation which will consist of one Ezekiel and two to four librarians. The formation has a restriction that all the units in this formation must have the Dark Angels faction. What do you get in return for having these guys on your team? Well, let's look at it. You will get formation special rules, which consist of mm, empiric connection. Now, you're going to have to listen to these very closely because they're a little tricky to understand. You, uh, here we go. At the start of the psychic phase, you can nominate one model, one model from this formation. If you do this, the nominated model has access to any psychic powers known by other models in this formation within 12 inches until the end of the psychic phase. However, and this is the tricky part, other models from this formation within 12 inches of the nominated model cannot manifest psychic powers until the end of the phase. That's a mouthful. So let's, let's try to, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Furthermore, when the nominated model makes psychic tests this phase only, he will harness warp charge points on a result of 3 plus rather than 4 plus. If there is at least one other model from this formation within 12 inches of it, Wow, like I said, it's it's tricky. You might have to listen to that three or four times. So basically, any at you have the choice. It's not a it's not a requirement. You have the choice to nominate any model in this formation at the beginning of the psychic phase. If you do that, that model can use any psychic power that any other model in the formation knows and if this, and furthermore, the nominated model makes psychic tests, he can spend warp charge points on a 3 plus rather than a 4 plus. But in return, none of the other models in the formation can use psychic powers for the rest of the psychic phase, which is very important because if there is a psychic power out there that it isn't used in the psychic phase, then these restrictions do not apply to it. That's very important to keep in track of. And that's not all. 
they get another special rule called focused enteromancy. When manifesting the mind worm psychic power, see the Codex Dark Angels for that little beauty, models in this formation can double the power's maximum range if there is at least one other model from this formation within 12 inches. Is that crazy or not? Now, some of you might not know what a formation is. A formation is only found in data slates, and they are a group of units that work together outside of the force allocation chart. Yes, that means you can take Ezekiel and two to four librarians, you can outquip them and upgrade them any way you want with any war gear that they're allowed, and it will not take up any slots on your force organization chart. Now, obviously, since this requires Ezekiel, you can only have one of this formation. But there are other formations out there, if you watch some of my other videos, that you could combine with it then. And that's it. That's the craziness here. For you, Dark Eldar Platers, go out there and start making some brains explode. Until next time, bye!